Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. It's an episode here on Custom Car Bros. And in this episode, we're going to be jumping back onto the bug truck. There's a couple things I want to target specifically in this episode. One of them being sealing off the firewall, as well as installing some heating system. We need to find somewhere to put the battery. And perhaps most importantly, we need to install some wheels. Same stuff for the do. Let's go ahead and let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we got those wheels installed and they made all the difference. So now we need to go ahead and move on and mount the battery somewhere. Now, originally, or at least in most vehicles, it's up here by the engine, but instead in this one, we're gonna be doing it race car style and putting it back in the trunk. Now, the reason being is because these sidewalls are just too high and it'd be super awkward trying to reach down and pull up a battery. Same stuff for the dude though. Let's jump right in and let me show you guys how we're gonna do that. All right, guys, so basically how we're gonna do this is super simple. We're basically just gonna be extending the wires all the way back to the trunk. The original battery was right here. We wanna put our battery around this area. So it should be pretty simple. It's gonna run up to an emergency kill switch right there and then back to the battery so it should be pretty simple same without further ado let's go ahead and let's jump right in let's get this thing wired up All right guys, so we ran the wires across the bottom and they're going through the floor right here and right up here to the trunks. Now we need to go ahead and crimp on the battery connectors to actually connect them to the top and then we can set the battery in and that'll be all wrapped up. Oh, right, guys, we we ran the wires from the front all the way to the back. We just ran them under the floorboard, make it a quick stop for a kill switch up there. But now we're gonna go ahead and jump on mounting these fenders. They're seated where they're roughly gonna be. We need to actually bring them in three inches though. So we need to make a trim right there to bring it in. And then we should be good to mount them. Same stuff for the do, let's go ahead and let's jump right in. Alright guys, so using two jack stands, we went ahead and we finally got this thing roughly where we want it. So now we're going to go ahead and basically just mount it. I want to do two bolts right there, two bolts right there, and then a couple in the bottom corners. So without further ado, let's get this thing mounted.
all right guys so we got this fender mounted and i think it's pretty sturdy at least i'm pretty happy with it we do need to weld the bar across here though because it kind of pops up and down which we need to fix but other than that all the alignment and everything is actually pretty great but now we're going to go ahead and take a break from mounting fenders just because this one took so long to mount and was such a pain to line up and everything for now though we're going to be jumping into the interior and fixing some things and basically just trying to finish up the interior there's a lot of things that need done but a lot of things are already done off camera for instance all this duct work has been done off camera which is just some three inch fan flex and let's see if we can get this dash wrapped up as well as the heating and cooling system we want to get it all plumbed up basically it's all going to be blowing through that little duct right there so you need to build some pipes so those can connect and then some floor ones to blow down at your feet anyways without further ado though let's go ahead and let's jump right in let's get this sucker done All right guys, so went ahead and finished up this metal box thing. Went ahead and also threw some sound deadener on the inside. I just ran out of SD card footage, so that's why you guys didn't see me do it. But anyways, now we're gonna go ahead and install it, and then we should be good to hook up the lines. All right, guys, so now that we got that heater and blower installed, we're gonna go ahead and be done with the HVAC system for now. And we're gonna be jumping over here to this side panel. We need to pull it off so we can get towards these two big holes that are right here beneath this panel. That'll let in a lot of air if we don't take care of them. So I figured while we got the front piece off, we might as well take care of and seal the rest of the firewall and get it painted as well. So without further ado though, let's go ahead and let's jump right in and let's get this sealed off. Bye. 